क्वेश्चन थर्टीन गिवन दैट कोसिकेंट बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस सी केन थ्री पाई बाई फाइव एंड बी लाइज इन फर्स्ट क्वारंट डिटरमाइन द मेजर ऑफ बी टू टू डेसिमल प्लेसेस वेल आई शो यू सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इन टू डिफरेंट वेज सो वन विल बी काइंड ऑफ ग्राफिकल वे ऑफ डूइंग इट दी अदर विल बी अल्जेब्राइक मैथड ओके सो दिस इज माई ग्राफिकल मैथड ऑफ डूइंग विच इज काइंड ऑफ यूनिक सो लेट एस एनालाइज दिस सिचुएशन सो वॉट वी हैव हियर इज कोसी कैन बी इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस सी कैन थ्री पाई बाय फाइव करेक्ट नाउ सो विल ड्रॉ दिस थ्री पाई बाय फाइव ऑन आर कॉर्डिनेट प्लेन नाउ यू नो थ्री पाई बाय फाइव मीन्स दैट दिस पाई इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फाइव पोर्शंस नाउ डिवाइडिंग फाइव पोर्शंस एक्चुअली डज नॉट इंक्लूड सो लाइक वी गेट टू एंड हाफ हियर and two and a half there right so that is how you can divide this first top half into five portions so for me it is better to write this as minus secant so i'll multiply both by 2 and write this as 6 pi by 10 it is the same thing right but that gives me a flexibility 6 pi by 10 6 pi by 10 means that now we are dividing it into 10 parts and picking up the sixth one 3 pi by 10 was dividing into five parts picking up the third one right but that's kind of a odd number kind of difficult to divide your semicircle into five parts 10 is kind of easy right i'll show you how dividing it into 10 means 5 in quadrant 1 and 5 in quadrant 2 so let's straight draw our lines so 1 2 3 4 and this becomes the fifth one do you see so 5 correct so sometimes what you can do is you can put five points and then join right so you can say 1 2 3 4 and this becomes the fifth point correct so when we say 6 pi by 10 that means each is pi by 10 now correct and we are going to the sixth one so this is my sixth one do you see that that's why i left it like this 6 pi by 10 now each small thing for me is pi by 10 now correct so this is 1 pi by 10 2 pi by 10 2 pi by 10 is as good as pi by 5 correct you can say 1 pi by 5 2 pi by 5 and that becomes your 3 pi by 5 right So this is for my students to understand how to deal with radians, right? Because it is their first chapter on radians. So that is three pi by five also. And remember this: each small division we did it pi by ten, one pi by ten, two pi by ten, three pi by ten, four, five, six pi by ten. Correct? Six pi by ten. Now you can see this is pi by two. Correct? Now since it is a co-function identity. we are changing secant into cosecant so co function identity right so it should be written in terms of pi by 2 plus what correct so well so we can write this as let me write is as <coughs> minus secant you can see from here right it could be written as pi by 2 plus pi by 10 do you see that if you do pi by 2 Plus pi by ten, you will get three pi by five, correct? And so we know well, cos is negative here, correct? So let me write on the cos rule now. C A S T. Now we know one thing. Whenever it is, <coughs> <coughs> so we know one thing. Whenever it is pi by two plus theta or pi by two minus theta, it's a co-function identity. Secant will change to cosecant. Sine will change to cos. Cos will change to sine. Tan to cot. Like that. Correct. Of the angle, which is theta. Correct. So this will become equal to cosecant of pi by ten. Right. Why with a plus sign? 
because sine is positive in this quadrant but cos was negative do you see cos was negative so negative of negative makes it plus do you see that that is why you get this as plus and that was a graphical way of getting the acute angle b right so angle b for us is pi by 10 and that is how we get it graphically right now let me show you how to do this algebraically correct algebraically what we are trying to find out is that we know the angle is 3 pi by 5 correct we want to write this angle as pi by 2 plus b that angle which is in quadrant 1 it means this angle do you understand we're trying to find that out right so this is alternate solution to the graphical one which I just showed you right now from here we can rearrange and we can say well 3 pi by 5 minus pi by 2 is equals to b correct so we can take common denominator of 10 and we get 6 pi minus 5 pi equals to b right and then we get b equals to 6 minus 5 is 1 we get pi by 10 do you see we get the same angle correct do you understand so so that is how you could do you have to do algebraically right now let's go ahead with the question so what is the question here we are given that cosecant b equals to this right so what is b this is what we want to find so we know and we can write this starting from the right side secant of 3 pi by 5 is actually equals to minus secant of instead of 3 pi by 5 now i can write pi by 2 plus pi by 10 since b is pi by 10 correct so i'll write this as pi by 2 plus pi by 10 correct and that is equals to secant in this will be negative but negative of negative is positive right because we are writing in terms of the related acute angle where everything is positive you see positive of cosecant pi by 10 correct since it is given this is equal to cosecant b that means b is equals to pi by 10 so we get our same answer as pi by 10 now the second part is to find the value of cosecant b to two decimal places so for that we can use calculator in radians correct so so we want to find what is cosecant of pi by 10 which is 1 over sine right 1 over sine of pi by 10 correct so that is because calculators will not have cosecant they will have sine correct so we'll do 1 divided by and within bracket we can do sine we get 3.23 so that is our answer 3.23 to two decimal places right and therefore so we have b equals to pi by 10 and cosecant pi by 10 is equals to 3.23 correct that is our answer thank you